The Ministry of Health has confirmed that there are competent and trained technicians on staff to operate and provide efficient services once the new revolution Evo CT scanner at the General Hospital is in operation. Permanent Secretary with Responsibility for Strategic and Operational Management, Naomi Jeremiah, made the pronouncement while responding to questions from the media during government's post-cabinet briefing on Tuesday. We have a team of experts at the Ministry of Health who is ready. I, I site visited that hospital um, last week. And the head of the radiology department, she is all excited and ready. And um, Grenadians, we, we should be proud of what the facility that we have at hand. I am excited. And I know the people who will visit for the services, they will feel a sense of satisfaction with the services that will be delivered to them. We have the expert training. We have the personnel required. We have the human resource capacity. Of course, minister, minister stressed that we may have um, some deficiencies in terms of numbers. But as for the experts to read the, the, the reading from the scan, we have the capacity to deliver that to the Grenadian people. P.S. Jeremiah says her ministry is now conducting a comparative study regarding the fee structure for CT scan services as provided by private medical institutions. This will help to determine the most affordable cost to Grenadians in need of the services. At present, we are the ministry are doing analysis um, of the fees that are being paid as we, the Grenadian public is aware. We have the Spice Isle Imaging Center which also provides CT scan services. We also have the hospital, um, private hospital, St. Augustine. St. Augustine also provides CT scan services. So we are doing a feasibility study, and very shortly, myself and my minister will ensure that the services at the general hospital is ready for the public. Uh, we are finalizing um, the way forward in terms of fees. And as soon as that is accomplished, Within um, a period of no less than three weeks, um, that services will be delivered to the people of Grenada, Kariku, and Piti Matnik so that we can provide that very much needed service. Once a structure is in place, P.S. Jeremiah says consideration will be given to those in need of the service but cannot afford to pay. We will, of course, look at some criteria for exemptions, which is needed because, as we know, um, the population of Grenada, we have the upper class, the middle class, and the lower class, and we have to give consideration to the needy. So definitely, um, that service will be up and about running, definitely, within that two-week period. As soon as we get certain approvals through the cabinet, then we move forward very quickly on that matter. 